Well, hello folks, welcome along to the channel, I am the Custard Prophet. Uh, we are back um, with the uh, the custard, ha custard haulers, the greatest of... Um, the, the greatest of truck companies in the world. Uh, and we are here, as you can see, with the haul truck chassis. I have a feeling I tried to do this before and failed when I got stuck. Um... I can't remember if I put that out as an episode or not, but um, we're going to be trying to take this massive load all the way from Rheims to Strasbourg in France. So this is part of the uh, the base game, this, this particular route. So we're just taking a little break from Italy. Let's get in the cab and get driving, folks. Are we going to be able to get up the hill? Which is my first question. This is what we're driving, just so you can see it. It's a, a MAN TGX truck. Um, I think we might have had one of these in the past. And this is the details of the the, the drive. We've, we're taking this monster, which is going to give us 18,000 euros. It is 55,000 kilograms. It's an absolute beast. And we're going from um, all the way up from up here just on the border of uh, France and Luxembourg down to uh, Strasbourg which it's actually nowhere near Strasbourg it's quite a long way but that's what we're doing um, so I'm looking forward to this one so you can see the route better here there is we're going down roads tiny 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 little roads oh my lord in fact the whole way the whole way is on tiny roads. It's 238 kilometres of killer of a killer drive. So this should be a fun one, folks. It should be a fun one. Not be on this road at all. Uh, so we'll see how things go. This could be chaotic, but I don't know. Hopefully, we've got enough power with this particular truck to get all the way there without issue. My worry. So we don't have it. We might not have an issue of getting across to. Um, was what we had the problem we had previously, where we we um, we got stuck on a on a slip road because it was just so so tiny and thin. I'm hoping we won't have a problem with anything coming the other way at the minute. If we do, we will <laughs> we will figure that one out. I think we're just on the way out of this, and then we'll get on the on the road. But a lovely little. Uh, tree uh, lined rows, forest just in the distance there. It looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? This is what I like to see. And I think on left and right, you can see just behind us, we're, we're being photographed. <laughs> is that. Now, are they here for the special transport or are they just in the. just there as part of the game? I'm not sure. Because it is a big old transport. I'm not sure I've seen that. Eagle, I don't know if you can see that, just up in the sky looking down looking for a mouse to to chomp on and there we can see the road that we're going to be joining up with and um yeah this is going to be a fun one it's going to be a challenge we've got a few bits to talk about um which i which i or i wanted to we've got this 200 miles worth of driving to do so uh, i'll see you when we actually get to the road right we are here and already we have a lorry coming in the opposite direction. Yeah, and you can see just on the back there, if I if the with the guardrail there, it does mean we kind of do just it it, it, it sits that that sort of um caution sign sits on the side of the guardrail. This is gonna be easier for us now. Because there's no guardrail, so we can just sit on this this side without any issue at all. But what a drive this is going to be! It's, it looks absolutely gorgeous, and we've not done this route previously. Let's talk a bit about the the actual load. It's the haul truck chassis. Now there are three massive loads in the game which have their own achievement associated with it. This is the Big Brother achievement, so um, we are, will be getting that at the end of this. Uh, and this also forms part of a couple of other achievements which it's probably important to be aware of there is the bigger the better achievement which is basically 
um, where you've got to take all... Oh, just knocked down the sign there. <laughs> Oops. I thought I was wide enough. We, we've got to take all of the um, um, oversized loads, all, all of the different ones. There are 11 different oversized loads to take. Thank God there's nothing coming the other direction. So that's what that's what we've got to do. We've done currently this will be number six. But uh, we've got a couple more to uh, we, we've got a few more to get there to get to to get to eleven. Uh, I'll talk about exactly which one those are. It's also part of the driver exceptional achievement, which is probably one of the hardest achievements to complete in the game. And that is it. That is basically using all 55 routes. So there are special. Right. There we go. There are special um, transport routes in the game, and there are 55 different ones across all the DLCs. Um, I've got a big list of them here, and we've currently this will be number six of the routes that we've done. So. Uh, yeah, that's good. Oh, we've come out of the forest. I didn't notice that. Right, let's uh, let's drive on a bit, and uh, we'll see how we're getting on. We've there's a little bit of trailer damage from knocking down the sign. I can't get past this thing. Uh, so I'll see you in a bit. I I yeah, I'm gonna wait for all these trucks to go past. I think before I can come out. Otherwise, I'm gonna knock down this sign. So uh, we we have to be conscientious. Right, yeah, see you see you shortly. What's this on the left? The TV crew out here. Yeah, the TV crew out. Now, I've not seen that. I think this is the first one of these um, these ones I've done in, in the base game map. And so is that something they put into the base game map so it's kind of, it, that, that hasn't made it into the DLCs? It's, it feels like it is. See a little windmill up ahead. We're uh, making progress for just uh, four hours, 50 minutes to go as we pop past this windmill. I'll see you in a little bit. Just heading over the motorway here. Very, very nice. It's actually a relatively peaceful drive. Um, which is which is good. Um, we're expected to arrive at eleven forty, so part of this is going to have to be at night. And doing this drive at night, where you can't really see what's going on behind you, is not going to be fun. But it's all part of the challenge, folks. It is all part of the challenge. So we we'll go on as long as we can do in the day, and then just see what happens thereafter. It's really helpful having the. Um, the support driver in front of you there because he what he does allow you to see is whether anything is coming in the other direction because he will just move into the center of the road um, to give them an idea that there's some big old load coming behind we see another windmill coming up there I don't know whether this is the heart of windmill country but um, yeah I'll be very very pleased if we can complete this one because um, yeah it was a failed drive before Ooh, was that a hidden road on the right there I don't know Oh, and we're just starting to get some rain. Little pearls of water on the window. Um, one thing I did want to ask, um, for, for you folks who've been playing the game for a long time, obviously, ever since I've started playing, there seems to have been a sort of steady flow of events, um, as far as I can remember. We've just had the Valentine's event. That was quite soon after the... Uh, the Christmas event and we had the Halloween event just before there and they all kind of seem to roll into one another so I guess what I'd like to ask is 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 there a you know a little gap now but until presumably what the next event is which is Easter or is there another event going to appear uh, imminently be interesting to know that because I, I am not certain right I think that's all right you avoided him yeah so let me know in the comment what is it the easter event that's up next and what what sort of time does that tend to start is that like as easter arrives or is it in um sort of at, is it in into in the build-up to easter what's the usual kind of plan with all of that stuff 
Right, we'll drive on a little bit further. Three hours 59 to go. Um, it's been quite an easy drive so far, um, which I was not expecting. This isn't too bad. I think some of the routes are horrible. I think doing it at night in the rain, that's not very much, that's not fun. So lorry there, but we're fine. There's nothing on the right side, just scoot past him. So we'll be all, all good. So, um, yeah, 8 o'clock at night, you see it's starting to get dark. Oh dear. And I can't see much now uh, with the lights behind the um, my monitor. It's not easy to see what's going on. I think we might need to up the uh, windscreen wiper speed. There we go. Right, I'll see you in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to tell you what the backflow prevent. Uh, no, backflow. What was it? Yeah, backflow preventer. What that was from the last episode. I have been. I've been given information from a very kind person. So uh, I'll talk about that in a little bit. Exciting times, eh? <laughs> Look at the sunset behind in the mirror. Absolutely gorgeous. They, yeah, I know I go on about it a lot in this game, but it really is spectacular, some of the stuff that they've made. Right, enough of that. Let's, uh, let's move on. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll come back when we're uh, under 100 miles. I don't know what that is. It's someone. There we go. It was. I think it was a, another like TV crew or something. We've done all right. We're doing all right. We're just 111 miles to go. Two hours 50 minutes um, to get there. It's nine o'clock. Still, I think the rain might have just subsided. So we'll switch the windscreen wipers off because I know that annoys people. <laughs> Um, one thing I did want to talk about um, is what a backflow preventer is because we, we we were lugging one of those in the last episode and hamfam44 let me know what it was and uh, it's exactly what it suggests it actually is it's not at all cryptic um, it basically is a device which stops uh, which allows um, portable water sources so maybe a like a portable shower or tap or something you can see the moon just over the uh on the on the which, yeah just in front of us there very nice um it it prevents them being contaminated so it prevents backflow of water into the uh into the portable water source that's that's all it is it's that simple folks so uh, i don't know why i asked but thank you very much hamfam 44 for spreading your knowledge much appreciated um and i think the other thing that we were talking about uh, was which a question I had was the um, Imperator achievement, which we're currently in the process of trying to complete, which is getting all the uh, 27 cities in Italy, uh, visiting them all. Um, we've currently got 20 out of the 27, and I was struggling to find um, the 27th because we found 26, and it wasn't entirely clear whether Trieste, which was added fairly recently, in the um, uh, to the base game map, uh, and that was done because the West Balkans DLC. It was it was a, a port that went into the West Balkans DLC. That's why they added it. Um, but it wasn't in the Italia DLC, so actually, it wasn't clear to me whether that was included in in, in the Imperator achievement or not. But I've checked on a, on an achievement guide, and I'll I put a link to this achievement guide down below. It's from brilliant brilliant achievement guide uh from um oh christ i can't see his name Zeran, who has done all of the achievements he's got uh, for all the dlcs etc he's got a great one for the um special transport but across all of them and i'll link those guides down below because they're incredibly useful but trieste is in the game uh, in in that achievement now so i do need to go up and collect that which would be interesting because that will be a very, very new city within the Italia, uh, within Italy, which should look a little bit nicer potentially than some of the others. Anyway, folks, we've got two hours, 12 minutes, 86 miles to go. I'll see you in a bit. I've got an interesting little road split up ahead. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Um, 
this could be a potential issue depending on what we need to do here we've got police right we're going right here can't see the back of the truck at all but it's fine I can just about make it out there that's helpful right through here so I'm not sure is that or just a one-way road doesn't really look like it very very unsure what was going on but anyway the police were sorting that out one of the things I have noticed I mean there is very little traffic on the road is is the traffic density less at night I mean it would make sense that it is but does the game take that into account it's not something I've it's something I feel that is the case but I'm not sure it's it's I'm absolutely certain about it because the traffic density isn't ridiculously crazy at any point in the game otherwise it would be unplayable <laughs> you just wouldn't oh Christ I that that was a little bit of a oh that's absolutely what has what's happening back there right what is happening <laughs> I don't even know I'm really confused have I wedged on something I think just that that lorry just came at the wrong point we're we going backwards I can't get out of this I've got the what can I do there we go we're moving the cab at least but we're just sliding back and I don't know why I didn't I think part of the problem is I didn't see these things on the right on the right side so I didn't know they were there I thought I could just move off to the right to, to avoid that truck and clearly I couldn't <laughs> but we are super super close to hitting the rear escort I don't think we're getting out of this right we've just had to reload from um, a little bit before that intersection and we're going to try and do that again hopefully we won't have the same we can use the momentum to get up the hill because that is what we what we need to do and yeah, the truck on the right completely scuppered us. And we've got to remember we've got the telegraph poles there as well. So all things that we need to consider. We need to build up some momentum to absolutely smash up this hill. Right, we're going to be taking a right here. Let's see if we can do it this time. As I've just damaged the trailer slightly. Going a bit wide with that. Right. So apparently this is quite so yeah there's nothing on the right side at the minute and then they move over I didn't see that happen the uh, these lights moving over to the right side or the telegraph poles moving over to the right side and here we go we've got a truck we just had to just keep going come on come on Come on, what are you doing? Come on, use all... I don't know whether we were just trapped on there. What are you doing? Oh, dear me, this... He's absolutely... Oh, he's caused so much trouble there. That was all him. getting out we're getting out come on up the hill up the hill <laughs> it's as if he was trying to make it all happen again he just slowed down at the worst possible time over the lump come on we can do it we can do this 90 miles an hour oh god that was horrific <laughs> oh man I 
don't know where we are, but oh my, oh, we've we've we're over that that difficult part <sighs> without the help of Matey in front. Right, we will go on, and uh, I will see you as we're a bit closer to the uh, the end of this, unless something else crazy happens. Right, we are getting tired, but you can see on the left we're taking a left, and this is the route. to our, our our final location so we're going to be taking a left just here is it past the police escort are you going to go you're just going to you're going to give me some room and I'm going to go down here nice wide turn right now I think we just need to have a, a good run at this and Hopefully it's not too steep. Come on, up we go. On the uh, on the tarmac. No, if we're on sand, yeah, I think we I think we're going to be okay. It's getting a little bit steeper here, but we're 26, 25. <laughs> it's reducing all the time the speed we can get up, but we're using the momentum that we developed first part of that road oh my lord what happened <laughs> what happened I just oh, did I did I skid right I'm gonna uncouple and then just re reattach I should be all right right we're back we're back attached don't know what that was was that a slide or did I just catch the back of the truck on the the right hand barrier wasn't clear about that but <laughs> that was I thought we were on the home straight and then that happens that is no fun here we go we're here we're here there we go oh and we're done two absolutely chaotic things happened there but we have six out of eleven for the bigger the better and we've completed the big brother achievement so that's pretty good we are almost at level 28 now that was a big load of xp there uh, we got a little bit of trailer damage somehow not a huge amount despite the, uh, the couple of ridiculous things that went on there um, so yeah all in all that's pretty good and we'll be heading back to Italy for the next episode um, this was just uh, I thought we'd have a little bit of a change anyway folks I hope you enjoyed it if you did hit that like button subscribe if you're new I'll see you for the next one goodbye